Hello and welcome to Gender Discourse. I'm Sohela Kapoor. Violent crimes against women have increased in the recent years and this has been discussed threadbare in the country, including in the country's highest deliberative body, the parliament, in its past session. Yet the issue remains unresolved. Fortunately, technology offers some solutions. Mobiles can be an effective medium in removing the feeling of insecurity amongst women with the integration of SOS facility and GPS. The basic function of mobile apps is to send an SMS to the user's family or friends during emergencies. How effective, had the, how effective have these apps been since they first came into the market after the Nirbhai rape case in 2012? We discuss this issue today with an expert panel consisting of Dr. Muktesh Chandra, Special Commissioner Traffic, Delhi Police, and Karnika Sage, Chairperson, Cyber Laws Consulting Center. Welcome to both of you. Okay. Right. Now, I will ask you, uh, ma'am, what is the basic function of these apps and how do they work? Uh, well, Since you're a cyber expert. Yes, uh, these mobile applications basically assist women in uh, terms of emergency or when they are in a, a sort of a threat for attack. And uh, whenever uh, they are in a, a situation where they need immediate help from the police or any law enforcement, they can immediately use the application. Uh, very simple procedures for registration, you know, registering them uh, is, is required. Basically, uh, need, the need is of a phone number, a mobile number, their name, and uh, relatives uh, details. For example, there could be any, any uh, close relatives. Minimum two is required uh, for most applications. And once they register, they have the app link and they download the app. In case there's an emergency, they can uh, you know, immediately either say, uh, shake the phone uh, by, by help of an SMS or it could be just an alarm which they could press a button uh, on the phone and this would immediately send SMSs to all the relatives that uh, have been you know, notified. Also, it would lead to a police control room number where the con uh, control room could access what is happening in the background in case there is any uh, you know, video which could be taken or the audio surroundings uh, are recorded, basically in what environment the particular victim or the person is. So that could be captured, which will assist in the evidentiary uh, aspects or even uh, investigation or uh, re reaching out to the victim in em emergency cases. Uh, Dr. Chandra, uh, you know, you're, you're in the police. Uh, what about the delay factor? You know, it sounds a bit complicated to me. By the time they press a button and the information gets through, I mean, the, the criminal can just, you know, either murder or rape or, or, you know, commit a theft and get away by then. What about the no, time uh, factor? As long as the connectivity is good, uh, there is hardly any delay in this because mm -hmm. uh, they work on two methods. One is SMS, another is GPRS. Mm -hmm. And uh, both are very quick. Uh, the information sent uh, is very little, the geolocation is sent, a small audio or video clip is sent mm. and uh, a distress signal that yes you are an, in distress. Mm. Only these, this information is sent. At the same time this also goes to your friends and relatives whosoever have, has been enrolled as, as a friend. So this is a very simple process by shake of the uh, phone or by press of a button or by, by quickly pressing certain buttons, uh, it, it goes. Uh, it's a very fast process. Uh, also, uh, the Delhi police had recently launched an app uh, called Himmat. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the, the whole connectivity is such that once the notification goes to the police control room, even the police mobile vans which are uh, around that area mm -hmm. are notified so that they can immediately reach out to the victim or the person in distress. And they could also, uh, the, the notification is uh, sent to the local police station, SHO. So, with the help of uh, this uh, quick network and the connection, uh, immediate access to the person is uh, possible. That's Again, sir, I'm asking this question since you're, you know, a special commissioner police, a uh, uh, special commissioner of traffic. Um, you know, even when you get that kind of an alarm and you get that information that you have to get to a place, what about the traffic in Delhi? I mean, ambulances are not able to get through. How um, will any help get through to the victim? Uh, 
in First time of all, again. I would uh, add to what uh, Kanika has said is that the entire process has to be automated. Hmm. There should not be any human intervention. The moment I, a signal goes, right. it is automatically distributed to the field functionaries, it goes to the PCR man, it is uh, sent to the mobile uh, phone of the police officer also. The next is the physical response. Right. Now, here comes the uh, problem of traffic. Yes. Uh, as per the notification uh, uh, which exists, uh, all emergency vehicles, including uh, ambulances, uh, police uh, control room vehicles, and fire uh, services, they have to be given the right of way. All other vehicles must go to the extreme left lane, uh, and these emergency vehicles must get priority of the leftmost lane. Most of the times it uh, happens, but sometimes there are few elements who don't respect this right of way. And I think everyone on the road should respect this because they are rushing for an emergency of to save life and proper property and uh, uh, particularly women in distress. I think so we can need you to say? put this in media more because uh, mm -hmm. this sort of uh, principle or ethics uh, we all yes. know, but uh, it's hardly followed. Apart from ethics, it's a violation of traffic I rules. I think in also. public interest, one can come out with a documentary or a short. Uh, advertisement sort of a thing in the in even print media or otherwise uh, in, on electronic media to propagate yeah. this. I think uh, without this, um, with it, these I mean mobile these apps will not be really absolutely really useful. won't be able to implement yes. this this kind of uh, assistance Correct. unless people obey traffic rules. Okay, no, but the smartphone app is helping in certain areas which is infested with crime. For instance, there is an NGO which is uh, which has trained 160 women in Dharavi, which is the uh, which is Asia's largest slum, and they are called Sanginis. They live over there, and uh, they uh, actually they have been equipped with the smartphone, Android-based smartphone, where they can record audio as well as video clips of any harassment that is going on and that you know comes into the cell uh, 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 cell of the of the organization of the ngo and then uh, after that action is taken and in fact uh, one of the women said that our men are so frightened especially in cases of domestic violence if we flash this phone at them you know it's like a weapon they immediately back off so it's not that these applications are not helping i mean here is a prime example of the application really being very useful so, in fact, I'll give you some data. The NGO, ha which is being helped by UNDP, their outreach program has trained 4,500 police officers and cadets in Mumbai and more than 2,100 public hospital staff, uh, you know, has been, ha is helped to identify evidence of violence amongst patients. And they have reached out to 300,000 women in a community of 1 million inhabitants. So, it is helpful. Here's a, here's a prime example, as I said. But despite this case, there are various others where there are few FIRs and, and you know, very few convictions. Uh, so, Doctor, what is the reason for this? Uh, there was a time when women uh, would not come forward uh, to lodge hmm. a complaint because hmm. of the social uh, stigma attached or, or uh, the element of uh, uh, that they, 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 they were themselves responsible or so many other reasons. Uh, but now that is going and on the part of the police also the response is very very positive that everywhere uh, there is a Mahila desk where the complaint is heard by a women police officer it is promptly recorded registered and uh, later on the entire legal process of uh, uh, collection of evidence putting the uh, putting in the court and then that follows there may be uh, cases in which some cases fail uh, to seek your conviction but I think the, the, the there is a lot of awareness with respect to uh, lodging of FIR. There is a lot of sensitization on the part of police to take these cases very, very seriously and charge them promptly. Well, uh, I think uh, it's it's uh, it's wanting at the moment in the sense that it's not up to the expectation. Karneka, could the reason be that the police and the judiciary have a lack of uh, you know understanding of gender issues? And that, uh, and it's also basically a patriarchal mindset that is obstructing. Uh, well, uh, I would not agree to the uh, here. yeah proposition that it could be because the police or the judiciary mm -hmm. lack the understanding on gender issues. I think they've done a, uh, a wonderful uh, job so far. The the judiciary is also uh, made you know a lot of effort into putting in. Uh, judgments yes, and ratios. Yes, but I'd, like, which I'd are like to intercede here. Hmm. With most of the in most of these cases. Uh, what uh, the judge or the policeman is looking for is a reconciliation rather than looking at a woman's needs. 
Uh, and demands. Well, it is uh, it is a matter of perception how one would see uh, any woman. I feel uh, has an instinct of motherhood, you know, within her. So uh, as a result, she is constructive. And the the whole idea of a family, especially in cases of domestic violence, is to actually uh, reconcile because it is for the best uh, betterment hmm, hmm. of the hint entire family, especially if they have children. Hmm. So uh, that being the mindset, obviously the judiciary also has that bent that you know if the family can be saved, they would want to do that. Yes. Unless there is of course a total breakdown of communication and the the family cannot function and they have to separate. So that is the mindset. Uh, the idea is uh, in good faith hmm. and it is for their best interest so I feel uh, that's a correct view to take and also uh, secondly when we talk about patriarchal society times are changing uh, we are in an age where uh, we have cyber awareness uh, we are increasing cyber awareness mobile applications being one way of uh, justifying this uh, you know proposition that I gave and also uh, the fact that uh, the, the, the education system uh, what professions girls never used to adopt even law I would say or uh, I've seen women driving taxis today yes. I've seen women uh, at the petrol stations today it gives me a sense of pride I mean there's no more uh, time when we are in a patriarchal society at least uh, I can see the manifestation of that dream the women are already conquering and doing exceptionally well in their own professions and therefore uh, the times have changed so we don't uh, obviously uh, one would obviously see see that this should grow in the future rather than uh, you know take a back seat uh, we would like women to progress right uh, we're going in for a short break stay with us अरे चाची सुना है घर में नन्हा सा मेहमान आने वाला है <laughs> मिठाई खाने घर गई थी पता चला आप लोग यहाँ बहुत बढ़िया मिठाई इंतजार कर सकती मगर टीका नहीं गर्भ के पता चलते ही टीटी के दो टीके लगवाना बहुत जरूरी है ताकि जन्म देते समय चचा और बच्चा दोनों जानलेवा बीमारियों से सुरक्षित रहें अगले महीने इसी तारीख टीटी का दूसरा टीका ऐसी सासू माओ को नजर न लगे <laughs> टीके के लिए ए आशा या आंगनबाड़ी बहन जी ऐसी सम्पर्क करें Grab all that is making news headlines in the national, international, business and sports arena. Watch in-depth news analysis, watch perspective. आवाज फिर आवाज है कभी पास कभी दूर पहुंचती है आवाज रोके कब रुकती है आवाज आज यही आवाज बन के आ रही है आपकी आवाज आम जनता के लिए और आम जनता की चुनी हुई आवाज यही होगी आम इंसान की आवाज जो बनेगी हिंदुस्तान की आवाज सबसे आम मगर सबसे खास लोकसभा टेलीविजन All that you wanted to know. All that you wanted to see. Everything related to your health is what we tell you in Healthy India. Janata ke sapne sarkar ke kaam karti hai sansad sabka samadhan. सबका साथ सबका विकास में मुझे आपका भी साथ चाहिए देखिए हमारी संसद और समझिए कैसे बनता है देश का विधान Welcome back to Gender Discourse and a discussion on the practical uses of mobile-based safety apps for women. And now we have been joined by Mr. Ravi Sharda Prashad, yes. a telecom expert. Yes. Welcome to the show. Right. So, uh, uh, maybe Ravi ji, I can ask you, yes. what are the different kind of applications that are now in the market? And are they all free? And they are, are they all just Android-based? No, you have uh, different uh, applications for, for uh, various smart smartphone uh, platforms. Some are Android-based, some mm -hmm. are for iOS, but most are Android-based because India is largely an Android country. Uh, the National Association of Software and um, uh, Service Companies, NASCOM, has actually come out with a list of some of the 10 best apps uh, uh, for India, which are developed in India and are suited for Indian conditions. 
I think the Delhi Metro has also come out with one, which is very yes. good for the Delhi-based uh, uh, system. Yes. Now, a lot of these apps you download on your uh, smartphone, and mm. many times you don't even have to make a call. You just shake your phone yes, uh, uh, I believe so, uh, yes. violently, and it'll yeah. send out uh, text messages or some pre-recorded voice messages to some of your contacts. Right. Some of them can update your Facebook profile. Uh, some can you know, uh, to say, I'm in trouble, and uh, mm. give out your GPS location. Yes. So, some of the apps which are good for in the, the metro cities not only give out your GPS location, they also say which are the nearest police stations, then the nearest hospitals, Yes. Um, everything. So, uh, I mean, the metro cities in Delhi are fairly well covered mm. in terms of apps. Now you have to sit down and see which app best suits your uh, needs. Mm. Some are paid, uh, many are free in India. Yes. Well, you know, the, well, let me just enumerate the different apps that I have yeah. down here in my list. There's the iWatch app loaded with an open data kit, yes. ODK. Yes. And uh, in, on May 15, the Odisha CM, Naveen, uh, Naveen Patnaik, launched the Mo Sathi, a women's safety app. Mm, yes. On January 10th, the Railway Minister, Suresh Prabhu, launched mobile app for safety of women. And uh, uh, then on January 6th, the Chandigarh Police launched a women's safety application, Raksha. On January 1st, the Himmat application that we were yes. talking about was launched by the Home Minister, Rajnath Singh, which can be download f uh, downloaded freely from the Delhi Police. On December 31st, 2014, the Hyderabad Police launched a mobile app called Hawkeye for the safety of women. And Hawkeye has several features such as women's safety while traveling, SOS button, etc. Yes. Now, uh, tell me, are these only available on Android phones? No, uh, they, they'll be available on uh, different platforms and most are on Android because Android is uh, yes. largely what uh, people use and you need a fairly advanced uh, smartphone for this. Yes. They won't work on feature phones. Right. Uh, so really most are on Android, some will be on Windows, some will be on iOS. Yes. You also have a lot of uh, applications which have been developed abroad which will also work in India. Yes. But it's always best to use uh, uh, an application which has been developed in India and is suited for Indian conditions. Yes. Because then they're integrated with the GPS, they send out your location. Some some uh, will send out your location within 10 meters or every time you move 10 or 50 meters they will send out a new um, uh, you know a new alert to your uh, preloaded contacts some will take videos there are a few of them which will take videos um, everything of course so then you have to be careful that you don't keep your phone in your purse because otherwise you'll just uh, send a video of your purse yes but uh, there are many of these which send videos which send audio recordings video recordings yes. so that uh, the people on your contact list know what's happening to you hmm. some actually will also send it to the nearest police station yes yes uh, dr Jan. but i think is the important factor in all these applications is that their integration back-end integration yes. with the first responder like the police hmm. if for an application or whatever application is there if it is not integrated with the police hmm. uh, then then the response mechanism will will fall short of what is expected yes, so of course. all these applications must also have a back end integration with police and it is preferable to use the application which has been integ already integrated launched by the police so that they they are aware of it and they respond immediately yes yes so that that's very true <coughs> but uh, uh, dr chandra what about all these cabs ola uber they all have app-based services, but uh, you know they are still violating some uh, some some rules, and they're still operating. They're still on the road. So, what do you have to say about that? Uh, one thing I want to mention mm. immediately is that uh, all three applica uh, application-based uh, cabs which you have mentioned are, as far as Delhi is concerned, are banned because they have not fulfilled certain conditions related to uh, radio taxi services uh, yes. rules uh, 2006 mm. as they were amended in uh, 2014 December. Mm. So as of now today they are not allowed to operate mm. but because of the technological advantage of these applications uh, 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 some, some cabs are talking to them and then uh, people are using them. The problem is that uh, these drivers are not public service verified. Uh, these applications are uh, uh, the, the the operators don't have any proper control on them. Mm. They are not equipped with proper GPS uh, equipment. They don't have central control room systems. Uh, they are violating a lot of permit conditions. Mm. So as of now, uh, till they are licensed by the transport department, mm. they are not supposed to be operating. And we are prosecuting them. Uh, we are we are uh, taking action against them. And this is a safety hazard also because so are you advising uh, women not to take these cabs i would say that because they are not certified they are not uh, licensed mm -hmm. and their drivers are not verified properly so uh, 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 any unlicensed uh, cabs if they are using uh, 
uh, it, it could be risky. But they're supposed to have these applications in the in the cab itself. I mean, um, that's what I've been reading. If you press a button, it goes immediately into you know to the office of that uh, of that cab. And uh, but, but then are what they is linked to the police stations? I don't uh, know. Uh, uh, what is stopping these companies to obtain the license? They should that's apply true. properly they, they should and apply. they, they, they should uh, be straight operate within the legal ambit yes. of, of the country. Yes, that's true. Now, um, uh, Karnika, what are the forms of violence, you know, that yeah. we can take into account over here? Yes. Uh, uh, well physical, well sexual, psychosocial, yes. Yeah, well, I was just listening to this conversation. Yes. I, I feel that uh, mobile apps are there today, but does a mo like a woman really understand uh, that a particular law is being uh, breached or uh, violated mm -hmm. and, and she is becoming vic victimized to a particular act which is illegal. A lot of women don't have that awareness. Uh, we talk about e general domestic law, uh, talk about criminal law or even cyber law. Yes. Uh, I would say that these are all uh, you know essential for us to understand when uh, is the breach made. You yourself have written a couple of books on cyber laws. Yes, uh, uh, one is the computers, internet and new technology mm -hmm. laws. Another one is uh, protection of children on the internet. And recently, we, I launched uh, an app uh, which is for cyber awareness called IT Act and Cyber Law by Lex Siberia and State Associates. And this app is basically uh, bringing awareness uh, for children, for women, or even in general, uh, what are the best practices, uh, how one can safeguard privacy and one's security on the internet. So right. that's going to be useful, a read. I mean, that's an Android-based application mm -hmm. again and for free so that's something that uh, would be helpful and when we talk about uh, for example crimes now violence can be in very various forms yes uh, whether it is emotional uh, whether it, it it is something like uh, you know a, a sexual assault it could be a criminal assault it could be criminal intimidation um, it could be extortion and uh, for women even dowry demands uh, uh, it could be uh, rape and there are various forms of, uh, you know, uh, outraging or dis modesty of a women. Right. Even a gesture, even a word, or even a, a sign, or a drawing, or a representation which is indecent mm -hmm. is also something which is illegal. So you cannot yes. have indecent representation of women. There is an act for that. Yes, absolutely. Uh, now, for, s for cyber law, we have uh, Section 66E, violating a privacy of a woman. Yes. Again, is punishable offense, up to five years of imprisonment, like mm. three years of imprisonment. And uh, of Section 66 67A containing any sexually explicit content through MMSs or otherwise yes. is also publishing transmission of those kind of images or uh, any kind of online content which is uh, video recorded is also illegal. So obscenity as such when, when you're outraging a modesty of a woman in any way is also illegal. So there are punishments from three years term to about five years term and even ab above that. So uh, in various acts, whether it is IPC, uh, the general conventional crimes like so you could say rape or um, you know dowry demand for 98A is all there in the IPC. But uh, when you talk about uh, cyber related, they're all in the IT Act. And then, uh, then there are special laws for women. You right. have the Indecent Representation yeah. of Women's Act. So therefore, there are laws to protect women in various ways. And yes. the cruelty can be of diverse nature. Yes, absolutely. Mm -hmm. For all those of you who want to join us in this, in this discussion, please call us on the numbers that will be flashing on your screens. Yeah. Now, uh, so, okay, w so when the SMS uh, goes across, the problem is, uh, you know, mentioned. What kind of interventions do these survivors seek, Dr. Chandar? The first response should be that, and but which is expected is that any police officer reaches that place of guns immediately to the rescue of the women. And that is done by the police control van or the local police station staff or the motorcycle staff or, a, or the traffic policeman nearby at the junction. Uh, the moment uh, somebody reaches that spot, uh, uh, he can arrest the criminal, he can uh, comfort the woman, he, uh, he can take uh, the women to hospital if the need be so. So the first response is the most immediate uh, and crucial thing. Yes. And that uh, in many such uh, places, uh, the arrival of a policeman solves uh, most of the problem. The, it can, the, the aggressor could turn away it, or, or withdraw or he could be arrested immediately from the spot. So right. And later on the subsequent is the medical aid mm. uh, and further the registration of the proper case and uh, investigation ar arrest of the culprit immediately. 
Yes. See, as regards case, I'd like to mm. add there is mm. the National Commission of Women also today. Yes, of course. And then there are various NGOs helping out. Apart from that, there are state legal authorities which mm. give free legal aid mm. to uh, the women in need. And uh, in many cases, they have obtained that help. Mm. And um, in many of their cases, get resolved through loka dalits, mm. which are conducted yes. from time to time. So there mm. is a, a possibility, even if one belongs to a not so well off uh, condition. I mean, uh, he would not be able to afford the heavy fees which legal uh, you know system really requires you to spend even free legal aid is possible hmm. so that's something which uh, most women would probably not know that they can uh, get this legal access i mean this this particular help is there available for free yes but yeah, i want to just add yes. to uh, you know uh, there are some apps which also help in collection of evidence for mm -hmm. instance there are um, uh, f for instance, women who are suffering from harassment in their office or, or at home. Hmm. Uh, it won't prevent uh, it, but it will help. I will have to interrupt you yeah, here. Okay. We've got a phone call. There's yeah, Rishabh okay. from Delhi who wants to ask a question. Yes, Rishabh, are you on the line? Yeah. yeah Please yeah, ask yeah, us the one. question. Uh, so, uh, we are debating always about the women's security. Why the government is not taking more stringent steps about the women's security? Yes. Yeah, and laws, I believe laws should be more stringent. Okay, more stringent. Yes. All right. So, would you like I, to answer? I think this? Uh, I completely agree with you because uh, I myself was going through you know certain provisions of Indecent Representation of Women's Act. I mean, their punishments are almost just like two years, and they're all bailable. Even under IT Act, when I see the provisions, most of them are again cognizable but bailable. So, this is not an enough deterrent for a cyber criminal or any kind of criminal, rather. So I think the punishments really need to be more stringent. At least a five-year term or more would Dr. be a Chandra, good deterrent to this. Do you, do you agree this. with that? Uh, as a policeman? As a policeman, what I believe yes. is that uh, se severity of punishment is one important factor, but certainty of punishment is another important factor. Yes. And more often than not, uh, uh, it is certainty of punishment rather than the severity which matters. Uh, we may even have uh, a punishment for hanging uh, for, for a uh, murder, but still uh, murders do take place. But how many people get convicted, uh, how many get away with it uh, because of various lacunas in laws or evidence or whatever, that is more important. I think uh, whatever law as it is existing today, if we apply it properly and make sure that 99% of the offenders just can't get away with yes. it. Yes. In the Delhi Gangrick case, we had the fast track courts now. Yes, yes. So I think that's a very good initiative. We all understand that there is backlog of cases and the judiciary is really, you know, kind of battling with the kind of backlog which we do face. But uh, I think the only uh, solution is setting up more courts, having yeah. more judges and special courts to resolve these kind of cases, especially where, which, which is to obviously. do, uh, you know, kind of deal with women or children. And then uh, there's a lot of overhauling in the of law, also in the Juvenile Justice Act. Right. You know, so we have another. Of, yes, we have another caller. Happening. We'll come back to that discussion. Yeah. We have another caller, Devanshu from Agra. Devanshu, please ask your question. Yeah, my question is this: uh, that we all are uh, aware of uh, one side of the situation that uh, we are. Uh, already uh, teaching girls and women mm -hmm. uh, to, you know, uh, how to get rid of the situation, uh, I mean, in the, in terms of distress situation, but why don't we teach men to, uh, I mean, how to be genial or how to be hospitable to women? Why isn't there such an app uh, in any uh, base uh, operation, uh, I mean, operating system like Android? Why isn't there, uh, there any app which could teach men how to be more hospitable to women? Well, uh, uh, Devanshu, you'll get your answer right after this brief break. So stay with us. All that you wanted to know. All that you wanted to see, everything related to your health, is what we tell you in Healthy India. वो परेशानियाँ जो आपको इधर उधर भटकने पर मजबूर कर देती हैं, लेकिन आपके हाथ कुछ नहीं आता। हम आपके लिए लेकर आते हैं 
उन सभी परेशानियों का कानूनी समाधान लीगल पॉइंट हम सब शपथ लेंगे कि ऐसे भारत का निर्माण करेंगे जहां ग्राहक को उसके अधिकार मिलेंगे और गंदगी का नामो निशान न होगा हम हर सामान जांच परख कर खरीदेंगे अपने घर व आसपास सफाई रखेंगे और कूड़ेदान का ही प्रयोग करेंगे हम ग्राहक के रूप में सार्वजनिक स्थलों बसों ट्रेन अस्पतालों आदि का लाभ तो उठाएंगे ही पर उन्हें गंदा नहीं करेंगे स्वच्छता आरोप देकर ध्यान कामयाब बनाएंगे स्वच्छ भारत अभियान वो लोग जिन्होंने अपनी हिम्मत अपने हौसले के बल पर लिखी कामयाबी की नई दास्तान और बन गए आम इंसान से खास ये उन्हीं की कहानी उन्हीं की जुबानी देखिए आम आदमी खास पहल हर बुधवार रात साढ़े आठ बजे सिर्फ लोकसभा टेलीविजन पर किताबें बहुत कुछ बोलती हैं लेखनी चलती है और रच जाता है एक नया संसार किताबों की खामोशी को आओ पहचाने उसकी दुनिया को समझें और जाने साहित्य संसार में हर रविवार शाम साढ़े सात बजे Welcome back to Gender Discourse and a discussion on the viability of mobile apps for women. Right, Karnika, would you like to answer Devanshu's question? Well, I think uh, it's a wonderful suggestion. Uh, it's something that is a welcome move. I think if you ask any woman, uh, she would really well appreciate his absolutely his suggestion. Yes. Is well taken, and I might as well think it's about also these. It's the need of the day. Mm. Maybe I could develop one. <laughs> so this is something which is uh, very, very I think uh, required because uh, although it doesn't, uh, I mean, it's people would easily escape attention and think that this is something which is already there and we ought to know these things. But yes, I think in today's uh, age and times, when we are talking. about netiquette and net culture and you know how ethics should be followed on the internet people are actually the, the ethics and the values are dwindling in the society and we need to uh, re-highlight them i would say absolutely focus and in order on the to re-highlight i think the value system needs to be again you know uh, overhauled in the sense that uh, women as as she could be perceived today is very different from what one would do, you know perceive women as uh, 50 years ago in india the entire image and even otherwise as a human the the element of Uh, you know the, the thought that she is a human being too is something which we need to revalidate from ethics let's come down to laws hmm. uh, what are the cyber laws that govern these uh, these apps what if the sos implicates a wrong man or the app is misused to implicate some an innocent person for instance okay uh, now in many cases you see uh, there are you know for example there's a bomb hoax yeah. uh, there's a false call mm -hmm. and uh, one would you know say that this is something that is falling in mischief or something uh, could involve identity theft because if you're using somebody's phone number and flashing yes. and flashing uh, the particular uh, you know notification as if it's coming from the original sender but it's not coming from the original sender right. or his phone is misused by somebody yes. then it is a case of identity theft Hmm. and that's punishable offense under the I IT act as well right. and the ipc and uh, up to 3 years of term or uh, even more so uh, this is something wha which is punishable similarly cheating by impersonation if you are if you are impersonating somebody and you're posing as someone else is also an offense uh, under the it act right so okay. it's something which is punishable one cannot go scot free right uh, we have uh, another caller hena from uh, merit hena are you on the phone Yes, ma'am. I am on the. Phone. Yeah, please do ask your question. Ma'am, is it okay if I speak in Hindi? Absolutely. Go ahead. Okay. Uh, ma'am, actually, ये जो fake calls होती हैं, कि आपका price निकला है, ये सब निकला है, तो तो हम लोग भी लालच में आ जाते हैं कि कि ठीक है, हाँ हाँ ठीक है, हम अभी अभी पैसे दे रहे हैं, हो अभी 
बस अभी कर रहा है सब और फिर उसके बाद उसी नंबर से हमारे से बदतमीजी गालियां गलोच ये सब होता है और फिर और फिर अगर हम इस बारे में पुलिस स्टेशन में भी कहते हैं तो वो कहते हैं कि चलिए आप बस पैसे मत दीजिएगा बाकी फोन मत उठाइए हम क्या कर सकते हैं तो मैम अभी से ये चीजें सीरियसली क्यों नहीं ली जाती ये चीज बड़ी मेरे ख्याल डॉक्टर चंद्र आप इनको जवाब दीजिए देखिए मैं हिना आपको ये बताना चाहता हूँ कि कोई भी आपको फ्री में कुछ भी देना चाह रहा है चाहे वो लॉटरी हो प्राइज हो किसी भी तरह का तो जाहिर है कि कोई काम संसार में फ्री नहीं होता और ये आपको चीट करने के उद्देश्य से आपको धोखा देने के उद्देश्य से किया जाता है जहाँ तक इतनी बात है तो आप ऐसे फ़ोन कॉल्स को मत लीजिए और आप मना कर दीजिए उसके कभी कोई कहेगा आपकी लॉटरी निकली है आप बैंक में पैसे जमा करा दीजिए ये सब आपको धोखा देने के लिए किया जा रहा है लेकिन इसी के साथ साथ अगर वो आपसे बदतमीजी करता है और आपको तंग करता है आपको कुछ अश्लील बातें कहता है तो उसकी सूचना ज़रूर पुलिस में लिखवाएँ पहले वाले की भी लिखवाएं और दूसरे की भी लिखवाएं और पुलिस का ये कर्तव्य है कि ऐसे आदमी को फ़ोन के नंबर से या साइबर के माध्यम से उसको ढूंढ निकाले और उसके खिलाफ कार्रवाई करें क्योंकि ये आईटी एक्ट के हिसाब से भी ये आ, आ, गलत है और ऑफेंस है और इवन आईपीसी के धाराओं के अंतर्गत भी आता है किसी को भी आप साइबर स्टॉकिंग में इसमें बुक किया जा सकता है उनको ऑप्शन कॉल कर रहे हैं तो इन डिसेंट कॉल्स के ऊपर बुक किया जा सकता है ईव टीजिंग के अंदर बुक किया जा सकता है तो मैं समझता हूँ कि अगर लोकल थाना आपको ठीक से रिस्पांस नहीं दे रहा है तो आप तुरंत सीनियर अधिकारियों से मिले और इसमें जरूर कार्रवाई आपको होगी मुझे विश्वास है डॉक्टर चंद्र व्हाट अबाउट द प्रिवेसी ऑफ द पर्सन हु इज सेंडिंग द एसओएस यू नो रिवीलिंग हर आइडेंटिटी मे एंडेंजर हर लाइफ and she has uh, to reveal her identity uh, when she's sending that first of all these applications as i mentioned in the beginning itself that they have to be connected to a particular police hmm. organization hmm. so the moment you call whether you make a 100 number call or you make an sos hmm. using mobile application it is the police station or the control room who which receives your call and further the uh, the action is done as usual uh, in the usual way by the police control room vehicles or the police so there is no way that police control room is going to reveal your identity uh, to 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 accused or okay. any, anybody else hmm. uh, the problem occurs when you are using applications which are not connected to the police control you mentioned and, that earlier and and uh, the sos goes to somebody else mm -hmm. uh, your friend circle or something right. then obviously i'd like to identity. add a point that yes. if a public functionary like a police officer uh, who is empowered by the it act mm -hmm. you know to ta take action uh gives out reveals unauthorizedly any personal information of a particular person who has given him the information that act is also punishable offense right of privacy it's section <laughs> 72 of the it act punishes such acts and that's something which is actionable okay right um, mr prashad uh, you were talking earlier about mm. apps which collect evidence yes. you know that's very important as proof so can you just uh, you know give us some details about those apps yes th there are certain apps which will uh, record or video and audio which you can use as evidence you mm. know for instance i have an app on my phone called alibi hmm. now what that does is that it, it will record uh, everything that's going on around me as hmm. a video hmm. and as an audio and uh, then if i want to save it it will save it to the hard disk otherwise it will delete it so these are things that you know can be used as evidence in court for instance as a, a karnik was saying a lot of harassment happens in the office hmm. sexual harassment Mm. where it's often a case of he said she said where uh, you know where there's deniability where one person can deny because a lot of the crimes happen in private or harassment happens in private so right. these can be used to collect evidence yes uh, and uh, you, there there are several such apps which uh, will record on a smartphone which will record uh, videos and audios and right. then you can save that uh, to your uh, uh, SD card otherwise mm -hmm. it erases after a while Okay. So these can be used as evidence. So that's very useful. But, but I'm not sure, you know, whether it's legal to use them in a lot of situations because the other party will not know that he's being taped. Hmm. Dr. Chandra, <laughs> you're smiling. So uh, <laughs> is it legal at all? No, no, it is not illegal at all. Uh, it's not illegal. Uh, no, no, it's okay. not. If a situation is happening and you're recording that, even the the application which uh, Delhi Police has launched, Himmat, and several others, they do record uh, uh, 30 seconds of audio and video, which is automatically sent to the control room. 
that stays there that's a part of the investigation process so in the same way if this kind of uh, application records certain events uh, at the time of investigation this can be handed over to the police which will become a part of the investigation right so it's legally admiss admissible uh, a lot of time women don't know that whether any sms's or any uh, facebook comments can also be taken to the court as evidence yes now digital evidence whether it is in the form of audio video or any sms's they are all admissible in law as long as the authenticity of it is maintained right so right. they are all admissible right we have another caller sumit kumar from chandigarh sumit would you like to ask oh, your hello. question yes तो मैम मैंने ये पूछना है कि जो फेसबुक पे जो फेक आईडी बनाते हैं जो फेसबुक की बात फिर हाँ जी तो फिर मैम फेसबुक पे फेक आईडी बनाने के बाद फिर वो उनको तंग करते हैं दूसरे जिनकी ओरिजिनल फेसबुक आईडी होती है तो इसके बाद अगर उनकी कंप्लेंट लॉक हो भी जाती है कि साइबर क्राइम पुलिस स्टेशन में जाके तो उसके ऊपर कौन सा एक्शन लिया जाता है क्योंकि फेसबुक फिर बाद में मतलब की उस आदमी को पकड़ सकता है या फिर उसका अकाउंट ही मतलब की डीएक्टिवेट या अकाउंट उसका बंद कर सकता है Yeah, it is possible to. Is it yeah, possible? It is possible to find a particular person who has done it, because if um, should I answer in Hindi? Yes, please, please. Okay. अगर हम फेसबुक पर्टिकुलर यूजर जो रजिस्ट्रेशन uh, है उसका डिटेल ले लें अगर हम फेसबुक से तो वो हो सकता है लेकिन फेसबुक डायरेक्टली कंप्लेनेंट की कंप्लेंट पे क्या एक्शन लेगा वो उसे ब्लॉक कर सकता है डेफिनेटली वो पेज हटाया जा सकता है छत्तीस घंटे के अंदर अंदर फेसबुक uh, को ये करना होगा आई टी के हिसाब से अगर कोई जनवन कंप्लेंट है लेकिन आ, अगर वो कोई एक्शन नहीं लेते तो कोर्ट से इंजंक्शन ऑर्डर भी लिया जा सकता है इसके अलावा क्रिमिनल प्रोसेस जो हमारा है अगर हम पुलिस में एफ आई करें तो कंप्लेंट के बाद आ, उसकी कार्रवाई होगी और उस पर यह देखा जाएगा फेसबुक से ये इन्फॉर्मेशन मांगी जाएगी कि किसने ये रजिस्टर किया किस आई एड्रेस से हुआ और किस लोकेशन से हुआ है जब वो डिटेल मिलने मिल जाएगी तो उस पर पूछताछ करने के बाद उस पर्टिकुलर पर्सन तक पहुँचा जा सकता है ये हो सकता है right uh, dr chandar uh, you said the delhi you said that the delhi traffic police has a mobile app so uh, is it linked to security particularly s uh, security of women can they use it for uh, their safety there are there are several features of the delhi traffic police mm -hmm. application which is available on android platform right it uh, if you are uh, downloading this uh, you will get lot of timely alerts about uh, a uh, traffic situation in delhi right. which routes to avoid where are certain processions demonstration happening mm. uh, so that you are forewarned about the traffic situation in in a particular area mm. uh, then uh, you can also get idea of the uh, ta uh, taxi and auto fare from one place to another place you can lodge complaints around uh, for misbehavior or refusal uh, by tsr taxis then uh, if your vehicle has been towed away for wrong parking that will give information where to get it back apart from that uh, uh, we also present on on uh, uh, social media such as twitter and uh, uh, facebook as well as whatsapp so on mm. whatsapp this feature is available uh, that oh you can is. record a audio or video clip of uh, traffic fault or uh, or uh, auto being refused I I will give you one very recent uh, very nice example uh, a snatching took place recently and a couple was in the car they took uh, four photographs uh, of the snatcher who was uh, on the move uh, they flashed it onto us uh, on the whatsapp number immediately we sent the photographs to the local police the number plate could be identified and finally uh, a few days back the uh, uh, accused was caught and the same motorcycle was recovered That's so wonderful. this is a wonderful uh, uh, all, uh, all uh, everybody wonderful has example CCTV. of its viability you yeah. see uh, everyone has got smartphone they can yes. shoot these clips or and send it back to us uh, on delhi traffic police whatsapp number uh, and uh, everyone is like uh, walking cctv camera Yes absolutely yes, with the new absolutely. technology absolutely. we'll be going in for another break and we'll be back soon All that you wanted to know All that you wanted to see Everything related to your health is what we tell you in Healthy India. जनता के सपने सरकार के काम करती है संसद सबका समाधान 
सबका साथ सबका विकास में मुझे आपका भी साथ चाहिए देखिए हमारी संसद और समझिए कैसे बनता है देश का विधान वो परेशानियां जो आपको इधर उधर भटकने पर मजबूर कर देती हैं लेकिन आपके हाथ कुछ नहीं आता हम आपके लिए लेकर आते हैं उन सभी परेशानियों का कानूनी समाधान लीगल पॉइंट वो लोग जिन्होंने अपनी हिम्मत अपने हौसले के बल पर लिखी कामयाबी की नई दास्तान और बन गए आम इंसान से खास ये उन्हीं की कहानी उन्हीं की जुबानी देखिए आम आदमी खास पहल हर बुधवार रात साढ़े आठ बजे सिर्फ लोकसभा टेलीविजन पर Grab all that is making news headlines in the national, international, business, and sports arena. Watch in-depth news analysis. Watch perspective. वो लोग जिन्होंने अपनी हिम्मत, अपने हौसले के बल पर लिखी कामयाबी की नई दास्तां और बन गए आम इंसान से खास. ये उन्हीं की कहानी. उन्हीं की जुबानी देखिए आम आदमी खास पहल हर बुधवार रात साढ़े आठ बजे सिर्फ लोकसभा टेलीविजन पर ऑल दैट यू वॉन्टेड टू नो ऑल दैट यू वॉन्टेड टू सी एवरीथिंग रिलेटेड टू योर हेल्थ is what we tell you in healthy india Welcome back to gender discourse and a debate on whether safety apps on mobiles truly protect women users you know karne ka these days is considered very uh, very cool to you know cool yes. by young people uh, also young girls definitely to post all their information their location if they're holidaying you know they'll post pictures on the net and also by way of making new friends is it safe to give that kind of information no i i totally uh, disagree it's not safe at all because uh, it's something that uh, you know they don't realize those photos are actually morphed when we handle these cases we understand the the kind of information which is posted by them is just harmless but what what comes out of it what a criminal will do with those pictures is something that uh, we see photos are simulated they are morphed they are misused elsewhere for commercial profits or for self gratification purposes and a lot of times this could even lead to thefts or burglaries in your house because if you if you yes. you're actually putting out this information that you're alone in the Somebody night maybe stalking your parents you. are out yes. and uh, you know you're going to be going to an ex place then then what happens to your home or or to you is something that you're leaving uh, in the hands of anyone anyone who has access to your facebook account and a lot of times people just add people just for the sake of getting numbers you know they are connected to so many people people mm. but then who it's are the number those of yes it's a number of it likes the number of yeah, likes but who are those people competitive about it uh, you know should Absolutely. they or yes. not have access to this kind of information yes. so yes. this is uh, something which people ignore uh, mr prasad you told me something shocking that young girls girls as young as 12 13 14 are uh, publishing semi nude pictures of oh, themselves yes, on the net you know because see, it's considered cool it's considered cool they are under peer pressure if they don't do it if they don't it's do it amazing, they're called yeah. you know they're called way behind the times they're called prudes and there are all these 13 14 year old girls who send you know who send out their nude photographs or semi nude photographs publish it on uh, social media My then God. they give out their addresses and their mobile phone numbers so there has to be a lot of education that they yes. should not do this yes it's completely but banned posco yes. act also bans this also bans it, but yeah. you know but these are these are children who are voluntarily doing it the second is also you know parents are putting out photographs 
photographs of their children which can be morphed. Now what happens in a lot of situations is that the parents put out photographs of the child in their school uniform and also say which school they're going to. Now what happens is a pedophile can use that information go and tell the child okay uh, you know, I got a call from your uh, parents to pick you yes. up and he, he knows what the child looks like. Yes. He knows the child's name. So the child will trust him. And this has happened in, in you know, in several instances. Yes. So parents also have, to have to be very careful that they do not put out photographs of their children, which can be used by a pedophile to make friends with the, with yes. the child. Yes. Dr. Chandra, you had an appalling case of a burglary. Uh, uh, first would you of like all, to uh, tell us Whatever we it? are posting on yes. the internet, on various social media sites, uh, mm -hmm. not only Facebook, Twitter and other places. Mm -hmm. It is if an intelligent person who is uh, uh, a criminal or, or wants to groom a child for sexual harassment can build a complete profile of a person, of a boy or girl or and the complete family including the telephone number. It takes only a few, few hours yes. of yeah. job. And then posing that, he can pose as your uncle, he can pose as your school mm. teacher, posing uh, uh, something and then the child uh, uh, gets into the trouble. Mm. Uh, then there are cases where you are posting pictures that we are holidaying at so and so place. Mm. What a nice and the guy knows that your complete family is out. So th there is an yes, opportunity he goes and burgle Tell us house. about the murder case. And then uh, similar situations are there at many mm. places uh, that a person is uh, alone at home, mm. he is feeling isolated, then the, this information is posted, somebody comes and uh, takes this revenge. Has mm. This has happened. Mm. So these are all internet linked uh, murders. So we have to be very careful mm. what information to be revealed, when to be revealed. Mm. You can always post that holiday picture after you come back right. from the holiday, but not that we are having a nice time at yeah. so and so place. Can you mention that murder case and how it happened? Uh, I think she's referring to the Adnan murder case. The Adnan mm -hmm. murder case. Uh, the son mm. of a businessman yes, from Bombay. Yeah, this is this is for our viewers. He had this uh, posted on, you know, he had an account in uh, Orkut, mm -hmm. and Orkut is a good social media right. platform again. So there he posted, uh, and he made friends with Angelica. There's a person called mm. Angelica, but the person was not Angelica. It was some a group of friends who allegedly actually uh, asked him to come at a particular point, and he met them. Mm. They kidnapped him and murdered him. That's what has happened. Mm. So. I mean, the social media is being misused and abused in, in yes. a lot of and ways. And there is a lot of anonymity. Yes. You yes. don't know yeah. whom you are talking Absolutely. to. Absolutely. And what another point, which is their key loggers. You know, the people are putting key loggers in social media platforms or music sharing websites or movie sharing websites where certain uh, malware gets embedded into their systems, uh, which even triggers automatic access to a webcam and would take uh, secret web shots. Mm. You know, so those computers which are, in, say, in the bedroom of a child should not be there. And then uh, there are a lot of cases where their system from the system a lot of personal information is being taken out by the mm. criminal mm. and is you know taken away somewhere else without mm. the child knowing this system is infected mm. so uh, ch children like to or even women like to just download mm. a lot of videos and without take, uh, doing any antivirus checks so right. a lot a lot of times you ignore the value of antiviruses which is right. important and you know, there's another thing that's happened for instance it's not just young children who are uh, taking risks yeah. there are even adult women who yes. take a lot of risks because because now what's happened in Delhi and the metros, there are a lot of these anonymous dating applications. Yes. Mm. And yes. a lot of women are on them, let's say Tinder or any of the other anonymous dating applications where women are now going out on dates with people whom they don't know on blind dates. Now, the person at the other end could be a violent person. You never know because you're meeting a person for the first time in an... Uh, anonymous location and nobody knows you're doing that and they don't they, they don't want their family to know that they're going out on this blind date right. so it's you know even grown uh, women are falling uh, you know are doing some very silly things online yes. and putting their personal safety at risk well, uh, can these cyber laws uh, operate overseas too? You were uh, giving yes, me an example uh, uh, of the was, case you uh, were handling. Although India has not signed a cyber crime convention, but mm -hmm. then there have been cases where if there is a foreign website involved, we can block those pages through a court order here. If we don't want to involve the police or the court, we have sent notices to uh, you know certain websites, uh, the, the website uh, registrars who have registered the domain name and the hosting companies to block certain defamatory material about 
not one U.S. Uh, you know uh, citizen it was Indian citizen but s staying in the U.S. she was being harassed by uh, uh, ex uh, friend of hers and uh, that was from Pakistan and uh, a lot of defamatory information a lot of her personal passport letters and everything on online and that was causing her a lot of trauma so she had no means to even get to India and then or to Pakistan to get her legal recourse so when we intervened we just sent legal notices to the website uh, registrars and the hosting companies who immediately blocked and suspended all these uh, you know from the net right. so there are uh, remedies other than even sometimes legal remedies uh, through court and when intervention or oth otherwise without it right well you know uh, we were talking about these applications apparently interest in these applications has been declining steadily and uh, the reason has been like we were discussing their poor implementation and their lack of utility so uh, would you like to comment on that uh, no, uh, I'm sorry I don't understand uh, uh, which applications uh, no, no, you know some I, I the would, popularity would, would, as it yes yes you'd like to the popularity is not as much as it was when they first mushroomed you know these so applications. let us understand the yes. limitations yes uh, the mobile application is only a medium of uh, sending information to the police hmm. control room earlier it was 100 number now they are mobile applications because in time of distress you may not be able to dial a particular number so right. you need to just shake and put you it in your, your pocket yes, yes. and the phone transmits that information right as long as the information has gone the rest of the process is the same where the police responds collects evidence and all that thinking that the mobile application will solve all the problems is is uh, i think misconception number one and number two it is only a medium to initiate the police action to trigger that action F subsequently the entire police uh, action has to be prompt uh, efficient collection of evidence booking the culprit uh, sending him to jail lodging uh, uh, charge sheet putting charge sheet and secure conviction the this mobile application is not going to do it for us not mm. for the police officer and not for the complainant so giving this information to the police rest all efficient police action then only the the entire purpose of the securing of women will be achieved uh, simply assuming that i have a police application where this mobile application will not solve this is a misconception for the complainant as well as to the police also they should not think that just because a mobile application has been released so everybody is secured no it's not but kanika uh, apparently one of the users said uh, a lady that initiative is good but it doesn't work properly it gives more ad alert than security alert what do you think that means and uh, her basic complaint was that the need based techniques haven't been added Hmm. You know, so it's only phones. maybe information based or just uh, 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 I would say that they probably think it's a lip service or just to gain some publicity that an app comes along but then uh, the main utility how effectively this can be implemented is overseen and it's, it's not really uh, uh, percolated because or people have not accepted it because uh, the, the way it should be effective it is lacking its teeth so that's that's no, mainly the, the ads come because you're, yeah. you're using a private application so the, the, the funding is done by the ad Again, on, I mean if you yeah. use a police, a police app again, there is yes. no ad reiterating, and the yeah. trust factor is yes. more. Well, Correct. thank you so much for joining me in the studio today for this very enlightening discussion, which is also very informative for our viewers. And that is all in this episode. We will see you next week with yet another relevant gender-based debate. Till then, it's goodbye. Grab all that is making news headlines in the national, international, business and sports arena. Watch in-depth news analysis, watch perspective.